I lost my my brother Josh to suicide on the 25th of November 2020. It still feels like yesterday. And in my quest really as his older sister to try to find answers as to what he was looking at on the internet, I found that he'd been researching and looking at ways and means and techniques in order to go about ending his life. And it was when I conducted the same searches as my brother in order to try to get in his headspace that I realised that there just is, there's just no intervention. There's, there's nothing there to disrupt that person's thinking and to encourage them to get mental health support on these search engines. And so, like many people who have lost somebody to suicide, I just had this overwhelming need and desire to make a change and try to turn this, I can only describe it as earth shattering experience into a positive for, for other people. I've utilised my skill set in IT and cyber security in order to build a piece of technology which has and will continue to save lots of people who are searching for harmful content on the internet. It isn't just the Samaritans that exist from a mental health perspective. There are so many other platforms that people can get help in different ways. If you don't like talking over the phone, there's a web chat facility from Calm. If you don't like typing on a web chat, there's a text facility from Shout. If you don't like texting, there's apps that you can download to build a safety plan. My tool brings all of that together and highlights all of the options so that people have more of a choice as to how they would prefer to get mental health support. And I think if we get that in, we've, we've got half the battle won. It's all about disrupting what they're looking at, making them stop and think about what it is they're actually searching for, providing them with a message of hope that things can, can get better and really encouraging them to get that mental health support that they clearly need. For those that are watching and thinking about how they can help with regards to Ripple, look, please download it. It takes less than 60 seconds to download. You don't know who you might be saving by doing that. Local school, local colleges, local universities, local businesses, mention Ripple to them. It's a free tool and it's out there for everybody. And you just don't know who might be struggling and who might need to see that tool in their moment of need.